side. One of my favorite stories is David and Goliath. And I think for every Goliath in our nation, there's a David. You know, and the, that solutions, God has plugged solutions into the people of our nation for the Goliaths or the challenges that we face in our nation. So I had the privilege of going to a good school, you know, I had the privilege of, of getting into a physiotherapy program, which at the time wasn't very really easy to sort of get into. Um, studied then at UWC for four years, uh, did my community service after that, and then um, started working professionally as a physio. So the access to, to education was, was provided to me, and I think I count myself very fortunate to be in that sort of environment. My passion is leadership. Um, I believe that we have incredible potential for leadership in our nation. Um, and I believe that we don't need to create leaders in our youth. We need to expose the leadership qualities that sit within the youth. Uh, <laughs> Michael. 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 Jordan. Thank you. Me and Snakes, we enemies. So like, I want to, I want to be a businessman. You see, I want to start like my small business. From my business, I don't want to make profit just to, just to be rich, to be called rich. You see, like, I want to use my business to change my community people from Google to Infinity PC that are struggling every day. So like I wanna be the guy to stand up and like invest into their lives you see and like also create opportunities for the people, for the young children that want the opportunity so that they can also be successful. Mm -hmm. I know what it, it's like to come from a poor background where you don't have access to things like computers and, and technology tools and data and, and that sort of thing and just not have the basic understanding of, of what you can do with it. And for young people to be able to participate and to be productive and active in future careers, they have to have digital skills. Securing employment or starting their own businesses um, either locally or participating in the global economy, people need to have some sort of technology background. And I think Innovation Hub is a good um, starting point for us to give them that platform. I see myself as a graphic designer or as an urban planner. I see myself helping the community. I see myself um, building my, my own building where people can come in and learn new stuff like Innovation Hub did for us. Because I never knew that I wanted to be a graphic designer until I went to Innovation Hub. And so I talked about how I can draw. So one of the facilitators told me, why not try out graphic design? Innovation Hub helped me on that mindset, how to manage my finances, you see. I work for a Philippi shop now. Like the pay that I used to get, I didn't use to use it for like big things. You see, I just used it, used it to have fun. But they actually told me that you see the money that you you get, you can also use it to get more money. You see, so like now I started having mindset that okay, what can I do with my pay to to make more money so that when the time comes for me to to start up my business out there, like better cash to start off with. You see. What we're doing is we're equipping young people who actually want to go out and build their nation. It's us partnering with these young people that are saying, hey listen, I'm in my community, um, I'm limited in my, my, my resources and my reach and what I'm exposed to, but I'm here and I'm wanting to build this nation. I think people will, will only pursue what they believe is possible. And if you've never been exposed to something and you've never seen someone who's done something, it's very difficult for you to pursue that. So what we're doing at Innovation Hub is not just training people in digital skills, you know, um, but there's also a level of coaching and mentoring around that. We have to be able to support and coach um, these young people um, into believing that there's more for them and giving them exposure to more, um, more, than, more than what they currently know. I think that's very important and that's what's going to cause the, the big shift.
what we get to every day, every every Saturday. We sell second-hand clothes to the people, and we don't just sell second-hand clothes. Now we also sell brand new clothes, and like most of our customers, it's the people we sell outside on the streets. They they come in stock here. We give them like things at good prices. See, for more shoes, Brandon. For Sunday <laughs> tomorrow in church. I believe, you know, I, like especially with our young people, and I shared this with them, you know, I said, you know, when, when God created them or when God creates, the potential, the full potential of what He's placed in our lives and the purpose of why He's put us here um, was put into us at birth. And that only is realized when you start to actually place that potential in environments that is conducive for that potential's growth. I, 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 the reason I, I see myself as a leader, I serve in Sunday school. So like, uh, there was there was an issue, family issue at home, so I couldn't come to church for like weeks. So like, after I came back to church, like kids were like jumping over me. You see, there's this other boy who came to me and he was like, uh, Mike, I look up to you, man. Like, where were you the whole time? It's because you were not there. I was like, okay. What's the difference when I'm there and when I'm not there? That guy was like, okay, Mike, you encourage us, you see, to love education and to love reading our Bibles. He doesn't have a father, he lived with his stepfather, so he felt like he didn't have a father. And he said that, okay, I, sh I, I became his father here at church, you see, because I encourage him to, to keep on doing more. And like, I, I have that good conversation with him and I show that him love, you see. So now I feel like I'm a leader. I feel like I'm a le leader because of what I do. Mm -hmm. um, I will be your God, and I will be the God of all your family after you. Okay, if come out, it's a tattoo thing. Like a tattoo thing. I got a feeling the darkness won't last very long. I've got a feeling the darkness won't last very long. Well, I've got a feeling the darkness won't last very long. Well, I've got a feeling the darkness won't last very long. Well, I've got a feeling the darkness won't last very long. Cause I've got a feeling the darkness won't last very long. The church is the people, so if you're building the church, you have to be building the people. Um, it's not about building uh, a physical structure, but building the lives of the people inside it. We have to invest into young people because they are the church of the future. For every single life we, t we touch, um, that person goes out and touches many more lives that we're not even aware of in their community. Let us sleep in world awakening. There's a new day on the rise, and the enemy is shaking as the graveyards spring to life. Let